Hey, hey, what's up, gardening friends? Jeff here, how's everybody doing? Hope you're doing well. I'm great. Look, at got a box of plants. Some fun ones in here. It's it's actually, it's all one. No, there are two different types of plant in here. There's seven of one, one of the other. This isn't supposed to be like a look what I got and who I got it from kind of video. I wanted to make sure to film this because the plants that are in here are ones that I think that people might be interested in. It's a plant that fills a niche, a, a good one, that might be something other people want to look into. It's gonna be a shorter video for a midweek video. Usually they're longer than this, but I figured if my point here is to be helpful and have something that stands out, then it should be a separate video, not tucked into like a 40 minute vlog. Go ahead and get the first one out and have a look at it and I'll unpack the rest and talk about why these are such nice plants or why I think people might be interested in this plant. Colocasius, it's not a secret. It will have been in the thumbnail. I don't know why I'm trying to like hold off like, oh, there's some big surprise. Y you're here because you read the title and saw the thumbnail, right? You know what's going on. That and I'm partially, perhaps maybe a little bit rushing through this because it's also in the middle of filming a weekend video and I only have so much talk in me. Oh, never mind. Three different types of plant meats in here. I forgot I ordered that one. We'll talk about that one too. It fills the same niche. Let's see, this should be more representative of the, no, it's not. Okay, this is the other plant. Wow, that is so small for what it cost. Not thrilled about that. Maybe this one will be the one that's the entire reason that I picked up the camera and thought that I would show it off. It is, there we go. Brian's Botanicals, that's where all these plants are from. The plant that I'm mainly focused on here, not one you have to get from Brian's Botanicals. This is a Colocasia tropical storm. Very little, very cute, not a lot of character to it yet. These have some grown to do. I'm gonna unbox the rest, get them out here on the table and we can have a look and talk about them. Hey, there we go. Looking pretty good. These are in, I would say, nice shape. Little bit of background, just so you understand more of why I ordered these plants. Every year I plant up multiple containers around my pool. In years past, I have used the Maui Gold Calocasias in them and I love them. I think they're beautiful plants and I have missed doing that. I stopped doing it, that's the entire point of this story, because they really just get too big. But I wanted to have that nice heart-shaped leaf, something that has that vibe, the Calocasia vibe to it, in my containers again but it can be tricky finding things that don't get very big. So I thought about caladiums, love caladiums, but the problem is they uh, don't always have the proper vigor to match in with a lot of other annuals. So if I'm planting sun impatiens around maybe a palm tree or hibiscus, something like that, then hoping that the caladiums will get big enough and stay above those sun impatiens. Wishful thinking, in my opinion, you really have to do your research and find just the right type with the right vigor and the right size and probably get them in there when they're already a larger size so that they don't get choked out. The solution here, how do I figure this out? How do I get colocasias into these planters? We'll find something that stays smaller. Most colocasias that stay on the smaller side, one, not all that easy to find, and two, they generally don't like very much sun. But now we have the tropical storm you already saw that, don't need to do it. These stay smaller. These only get one and a half to maybe two feet tall. I've seen, I think Plant Delight's website says potentially 30 inches tall. Even at 30 inches tall, that's a nice compact plant for what it is. You still enjoy a lovely elephant ear in the garden without it necessarily taking up a ton of space. And I like big plants, don't get me wrong. There are a lot of people who maybe don't have giant gardens and uh, don't want to sacrifice the space for a regular colocasia that's just going to get really, really big and robust, this would be a good solution. These are still little babies, so they have some coloring up to do. The nice thing and the appeal to these, just as far as their appearance goes, is they have a really nice black outline, similar to like the Black Magic colocasia. That's one most people are familiar with. You can see that darker tone in the foliage as it is. When these get bigger, they have a variegation in the middle, kind of like the like the white lavas. So you have a nice white splash on the inside and you get this kind of a lightish bluish to black tone on the outside of the foliage, which I think is where that name comes from, Tropical Storm. It's how the ones that I've seen in person have looked anyways. I do see these around at nurseries. They're part of the Royal Hawaiian series. It's not one that should be difficult to track down and find. Once they become part of that Royal Hawaiian series, they start to become mass produced. You can normally find them 
at your big box stores, which was nice. I've been able to see them in larger containers at their larger size and they looked beautiful, but I needed eight of them. I was only able to get seven. I needed eight and I wasn't gonna pay, you know, 25 to 35 bucks a plant for these ones in larger containers. It was much cheaper to get them in a smaller size and just let them grow out. It's a colocasia. They should be pretty vigorous, which is another fun point with this colocasia is they are quick to clump. So you can even see when you look down here at the base of the plant, they already, even at the small size, have lots of little plant babies shooting up from the side. So you'll get a nice looking clump in a short amount of time. Typical Colocasia care, full sun, afternoon shade in really hot climates or dry climates. The hotter and more dry the climate, the more shade you want them to get in the afternoon. A nice organically rich, well-drained soil that is pretty rich with moisture as well. They don't want to dry out for too terribly long. That's not true of all Colocasias, but of the Esculentes, which is what this is, Esculentas, that's going to be their jams. Not let them dry out for a super long time, which will be fitting with the containers that I have these going in. They'll be up on drip. Appreciate all the fertilizing and the light that they're going to get. They should do pretty well with what I'm going to do with them. They'll be a little bit shaded perhaps from the palm trees and the hydrangeas down there, but I don't think that'll be a huge problem at this size. If they were much smaller than this, I'd be concerned that maybe as it is right now, the sun impatience on those plants are already pretty big. They could get choked out, but I don't think that'll be the case. Once the foliage gets up and above <laughs> the sun impatience, shouldn't have to worry about them getting choked out. I plant impatience around colocasias pretty frequently, and I've never had any issues with that. So I think that these are going to look spectacular in planters all around the backyard and in the garden without taking up a ton of space, right? So it's going to leave a lot of room for other things to be put into their containers and around them so it'll be a statement plant that also you could use as an accent underneath larger plants. That's why I love them. That's the whole thing behind them. And same situation here with this one. This is Colocasia Tea Party. Colocasia that holds their foliage upright, like a cup. The water fills it up and they spill down. They're really cool Colocasias. They have a, a really fun shape to them. It's a plant that people generally enjoy having around. The Tea Party stays much smaller. I've forgotten how big, let me look it up. I didn't come prepared, this just showed up. I wasn't ready for it. According to Google, Proven Winners has these, so that means that lots of people should be selling them at some point. Coffee cups get pretty big. Tea cups are a little bit smaller. Tea Party goes 30 inches to three feet. That's according to Proven Winners website. They have a really fun upright growth habit to them, really long stems that stand up like so like that you can plant a lot of little things around the bases of them the tea party takes on a reddish hue like a reddish ruby color to the foliage when they get bigger that looks really cool in pictures but i haven't seen it in person yet so y'all just have to look at the pictures i'm sure i'll have something up there on the screen and hopefully we'll get to see how these look throughout the season when i get them put into the garden into their planters so that's all just two options smaller elephant ears for people who don't want great big massive things in their garden or maybe want to put them in containers that don't have space for these gigantic plants and have your cake and eat it two of these they're fantastic the other plant it's a canna it's called Thai rainbow it, I just it that's not really what this video is about just thought since it's here I'd show it to you it's a cool looking canna I do like the variegation but my focus right now is on all these cute little gems and that's it nice fun plants Comment down below, say hi, I love talking to everybody. Do you have any types of colocasias that you like to use that stay smaller? Colocasias for people with smaller gardens, doing things on their patios or decks, balconies. Get a nice tropical vibe without having to sacrifice a ton of space. And they're both beautiful plants on top of that too. I like that they aren't just a plain green because that is something you see with some of the other colocasias that do say smaller, which there aren't a lot of, but they aren't always the most beautiful all right i gotta get these unpacked the rest of the way give them a good watering and start popping them into some containers down at the other end i hope everybody's doing well having a great day and a great life and everything's just going absolutely beautifully for you i do wish at least one of these had the variegation on them they don't have to get much bigger than this to start to show their variegation i've seen them around at the stores as i've mentioned and sometimes the little pups that come off the sides will be just maybe a little bit bigger than this and they'll be starting to show that and they're, it's fine. There will have been pictures up on the screen, right? Hopefully, unless I was being a very lazy editor. Hopefully not. And of course, as always, and most importantly, everybody, keep on growing. Bye-bye.